Hi everyone, Rudy Winston from Canon USA with a quick informational tip about the different shutter modes in your mirrorless camera. Nearly every Canon EOS M series and EOS R series camera offers you a choice of how the shutter operates for still images. We'll discuss them and the reasons you might choose one over another in the next few minutes. Keep in mind, this only applies to still image shooting. Depending on your camera, you may have two or even three shutter mode choices, which are usually in the red shooting menu on your camera's menu system. SLR cameras always used a mechanical shutter with one set of shutter blades that opened to expose the film or imaging sensor and a second set of thin light tight blades that would quickly follow and cover the film or sensor to end exposure. Many, but not all, of today's mirrorless cameras have mechanical shutters as well. Mechanical shutter mode has some advantages. You can freely shoot flash pictures. There are essentially no concerns about uneven banding under some flickering artificial lights. No risk of oddly shaped out of focus background highlights at fast shutter speeds and virtually no distortion of fast moving subjects traveling across the frame. It's an excellent choice for fast moving subjects. On the other hand, mechanical shutter mode will produce the most shutter noise since two sets of shutter blades are moving for each picture you take. Depending on the camera, you may find limits in the camera's fastest continuous frames per second drive speeds compared to electronic shutter operation. Electronic first curtain shutter mode uses the sensor itself to begin recording image data from the scene and a bladed mechanical shutter then follows up and covers the sensor to end exposure. Since there's only one set of shutter blades operating, you'll still hear a distinct click sound as each exposure ends, but it's usually quieter than mechanical shutter mode. With electronic first curtain, Advantages include no vibration from shutter blades at the start of each exposure. At slower shutter speeds, you can potentially get sharper pictures, handheld or even on a tripod. Often, slightly less shutter lag time, although this is subtle. Sometimes, slightly faster maximum sync speeds with flash. While critical users may see some odd shaped background bokeh effects at very fast shutter speeds, Electronic first curtain is often an effective way to work for general photography. It's usually the factory default setting on most Canon EOS M and R series cameras. Full electronic shutter bypasses any physical shutter mechanism, so it's potentially completely silent. On some EOS models, like the popular EOS M50 Mark II, you set electronic shutter by activating the silent special scene mode rather than just a shutter mode setting in the menu. Electronic shutter has obvious advantages when you want to work quietly and also generates no vibrations from shutter movement. So even in landscape or close-up shooting under fully natural light, electronic shutter can be very useful. Again, shutter lag time is often minimal too. The maximum drive speeds are often faster with electronic shutter, and on some cameras, you can also select faster maximum shutter speeds. But with most cameras, electronic shutter has a few drawbacks. Rolling shutter distortion can be visible with both fast moving subjects traveling across the frame, or if you quickly pan the camera sideways to follow a moving subject. In artificial light, it's possible to see visible uneven banding at faster shutter speeds. And finally, for technical reasons, flash is usually not possible with electronic shutter.